Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I'm engineer Seppel and you are watching Seppel Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So guys, today I'm going to share with you another practical video of Site. In this video I will show you and give you details about waterproofing, bitumen just waterproofing. So before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends. So let's start the video. So dear friends, you can see the labor are busy and application of bitumen just paint at concrete wall and uh, columns up a staircase. What are the procedure of bitumen suspend application? Which type of work inspection we have to do for this? How many WIR we have to submit for the waterproofing uh, application? And where we have to apply this bitumen waterproofing and why we are applying the bitumen waterproofing? For answers of all of these questions, stay tuned in the video till the last. So guys, here you can see this is a concrete our RCC structure, RCC wall and column for a staircase the first question where we have to apply the water uh, the water pooping or bitumen suspend where the concrete has a contact with soil where the concrete has a contact with soil or the concrete will be buried in the soil where you need to make big filling with soil so at all of that concrete you have to provide or you have to apply bitumen just water pooping as you can see that we are doing this when you apply the bitumen suspend on the concrete, it makes a thick membrane. Because of that thick membrane, waters are unable to go in the small pores of a concrete inside and it's a uh, best thing to provide waterproofing as well as the resistance to the corrosion. So you can see in this video, this is the concrete. In this area, they apply the waterproofing. So which type of inspection? Before the water popping starting a bitumen suspect implication, you have to submit a surplus preparation for WIR, work inspection request for the structure. Like here you can see, there was a tie rod hole and they make a surplus preparation for all of these. They have to fill the tie rod holes with the non shearing grout. When it's dried and the uh, non shearing grout uh, activity done, you have to submit work inspection request and the consultant will come and they will inspect the area. As you can see downside, you can see it. when the inspection done for the surface preparation. <coughs> after that, you will move ahead to start bituminous waterproofing for the concrete structure. You have to provide two layers, and the minimum thickness should be two mm for the waterproofing coat or waterproofing membrane. After final application. When you apply the first layer, now they are applying the first layer of bituminous waterproofing. So when they completely apply the bituminous waterproof uh, material on the concrete structure, after that I will submit another WIR. WIR work inspection for the first layer or for the first coat of bituminous paint at uh, concrete wall and columns. So when it's right after the construction will come and they will check the uh, first coat or first layer of the bitumen coat after that on the next day they will start another layer which is the final layer for the bitumen coating when that bitumen coating is complete you have to submit another WIR for that for the final coat or second coat of bitumen suspend so the consultant will come they will check in they will approve after the approval of the second layer you can go ahead for the back feeling so let's summarize the video where we have to apply the waterproofing bitumen shed waterproofing for the concrete the concrete which has a contact with soil or the concrete which will be buried or the country concrete where we have back filling with approved soil so that all concrete should be uh, on that concrete we have to apply the bitumen shed waterproofing because there are small force, tiny force in the concrete and when you make big feeling for it and any damp or wetness or water come through this force inside the concrete and it reach to the steel bar so it cause the corrosion. So after application of the bituminous waterproofing course, it make a thin, uh, thick membrane and it should be minimum 2 mm as per specification of our project. And it stop the water to enter the concrete structure and it also uh, resist the, uh, the corrosion of the steel bar because when the water will not go inside the 
concrete or oxygen entry will not inside the concrete so there will be no corrosion in the concrete so guys for such a practical video please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video share it with your friends